Hi guys, um, it's 29 Go Bills here. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a shooting rest, which as you can see, it is just a cardboard box. Um, first what you want to do is you actually want to um, take these, let me just show you real quick. Take all these, it's probably going to look like this. So what you want to do is you want to take these flaps right here, bend them down. These flaps right here, bend them down, keep it as bent as possible. Then you want to take these two flaps right here, and you want to bend that down in there as good as possible, so that it looks like that. And it's good. And if this one's not taped, tape it, and just keep tape. The more I think, the more you tape over it is probably the best, because it grips it pretty good. If you more, just use duct tape and just duct tape it all around. Um, that'll give it a little bit more weight. Um, definitely tape it in there, and you can also tape it on the sides so that they don't move. If they ever do move or anything. So as you can see, you got your shooting rust. Um, very, very quick, as you can see. You just need a cardboard box. Make it fit pretty good. Um, it's about the size of um, maybe like an eight shoe. Eight and a half shoe. Boy. Let's see. My shoe right here. This is my... Um, Vans shoe um, that I use all the time. Let's see what it is. It is a 8.8.5. It is, um, no it's not. It is actually way off of an 8.5. So, um, actually, I'm going to think that it's probably like a 6 or a 5. Maybe even a 4. Um, for a shoe box. Um, maybe even a 3. I don't know, okay? I wear eight and a halfs. So I don't know what to do. Sometimes I wear nines, but um, so yeah. Make this. It works really, really good. Just use duct tape, and that's really all you need to worry about to make it. Um, sorry about the glare, but um, hopefully it's not too. You know. Ah!